Well, you know you've made it to Florida when you got <clears throat> turtles crossing the road. <laughs> and the dog is like, what the hell is that thing? <laughs> what do you think, Bailey? You've never seen a turtle before, have you? <laughs> we were on vacation and I dropped the family off um, with their with my wife's uh, side of the family and I'm taking the dog down it's about another five miles down the beach uh, there's a uh, a dog park down here dog beach so me and Baylor are gonna run down here let this dog run around the sand do whatever she wants to do and uh, yeah see how she acts down here she's only been on the beach once when she was um, really little about six months old maybe eight months maybe she may have been eight months old uh, it was two years ago she's about two and a half now all right we're gonna park right here all right we are at Ponce Inlet I'm currently being drugged down the beach or the sidewalk uh, Ponce Inlet south of Daytona um, and they've got a dog beach down here and we're gonna go check it out hopefully those skies don't open up on us and dump anything on our heads this dog is going nuts i'm not getting drugged down the beach by a 90 pound lab belly sniffing around it's pretty nice down here so there's a lot of oysters in this area, so I'm a little worried about her with his oyster shells. She's just stepping on her leash. Hang on, really. She's fully occupied with smelling. So I just smelling around. This don't smell like Georgia. This don't look like my pond. Let's go this way. Check out the boat, Bailey. Riding around the pontoon, getting some fishing in. All right, let's walk this way. Here's the light tower. I believe that's the marina over there. I did a deep sea fishing trip out of there about, I don't know, seven or eight years ago. No, uh, I take that back. It's probably more like 10 or 12 years ago. So I don't think my boys were alive then. Hey, Bailey, come here. I'm gonna unhook you for a second. Come here. I'm gonna let you in for a minute, but you gotta be good, okay? You gotta come back to me when I tell you. All right? All right? You can play for a minute. You can play for a minute. We're definitely gonna get some weather today, I believe. It might be coming pretty soon. We need a stick or something, don't we, dude? Do that. I don't know what these things are. <laughs> Bailey's like, I don't know what it is either, but I'm gonna chase it. Where'd it go? Did it sink to the bottom? <laughs> She's like, there it is. It is. It don't taste real good, I think, but it is. <laughs> She's like, yeah, I'm not even bringing that all the way out of the water. Not a bad place to be. I'll give you a little panoramic view here. A little pan around. I'll try to do it slow. So.
fish jumping right there. Some bait fish probably. There's some mullet or something running under our dock at the river house we rented uh, the last few nights. We've had dolphin out there in the river this morning and last night. Uh, it's a pretty nice place. Pretty nice. Bailey's enjoying it. She just went for a roll in the, in the sand a second ago. So that's about a 360 view of this little dog beach. And of course there's a beach on this side. It kind of wraps all the way around. Um, we haven't explored that far. It's, it's pretty hot. It's like 86 degrees. I'm wearing all black like a fool at the beach. <laughs> and I've got a little bit of a sunburn issue going on on my back. My wife did the old s s style uh, suntan lotion on the beach yesterday. Here's the dog rolling in the sand again. Um, and it looks like somebody graffitied my back. I've got some stuff that's not uh, tanned at all and some stuff that's burnt slap up. There's a turtle in the water right there. Let's see what the dog does. See that. Let's see if that. Let's see, Tur, that's cool. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. A little sea turtle. I don't know if they're coming up to lay their eggs or what. Bailey girl, go far. Come on. You stay over here. Dog's living her best life, let me tell you. see that turtle anymore but she's got to be close to it I hope it don't bite her little feet yay similar to that. I like to have a bay boat where I can take it in the lake at home and then I'll come on vacation down here and rent a house with a boat dock. And we can uh, come out in the intercoastal and the small bodied stuff. I don't care anything about going way out deep in the ocean, but there goes that turtle. Yeah, maybe one day we'll do that. Kids are getting to the age now where I think they'd really enjoy it not just be slapped miserable out on it. Um, been something I've been thinking about for the last 10 years or so but the kids you know and they're super small you get them out on the boat for an hour and they're ready to go back in they can't really focus hone in on fishing trips so it's kind of a waste um, for most children at, at an early age but mine are getting to the, the almost teenage age so you can take them hunting and fishing a little easier without wasting a whole bunch of time money we just kind of did a walk around on this other side of this beach just to check it out over here see what else is looming around here Bailey you want back off your leash let me take you back off here there you go all right all right you can run you can run for a minute Nobody around. You like chasing these things? So where'd it go? Where'd it go, George? Which way did it go? Which way did it go? They sank to the bottom. You gotta dive down and get it. You gotta dive down. Dive her down. Dive her down, dog. Dive her down.
Oh, there's a freaking manatee right there. I better get this dog on the leash. <laughs> Let me get you on the leash. Hang on. Let's go over here. Let's go over here and look at this manatee. Oh, cool. This dog might just flip out. I don't know yet. I think it's a manatee. It may just be a dolphin, but it's pretty sure being in this shallow, it's going to be a manatee. See it sticking its head out right there? Yep, that's exactly what it is. See that? Several of them. Look through my sunglasses here. They're just chilling right there under the surface. I heard it come up and blow. There's three of them. Two or three of them at least. The dog doesn't even realize they're there for some reason. There may be a whole bunch more than that out there. I don't know. This is the second time I've seen them in person. We saw them off St. George Island one time. We used to rent a house out there all the time on the bay. And we went out in the park trying to fish for reds at the cut. And uh, there was a bunch out there that day. I love Florida. I really do. It's such a cool place. It's like being in, its own, in your own zoo. There's another turtle right here coming up to the surface. Hopefully y'all can see that. I need to get some filters for these lenses. There's a good shot of that manatee. Bailey's now realizing that they're there. She's on high alert going, what the hell is that thing? There's at least three of them with their heads together right there. They eat vegetation off the bottom to my knowledge and they're mammals and uh, so they breathe air and they need fresh water I believe that can go I think a long time in the salt something like that pretty cool one of them's coming right up to us I mean, it is right there see it see it <laughs> that's two of them they're back to back man that's cool Isn't that cool, Bailey dog? That was my foot dog. I can't believe she's not barking and flipping out at him, but that's cool that she's not. There's something jumping in the water there. Well, this is like a nature preserve right here, buddy. There's all kinds of stuff. We got sea turtles, we got manatee, we got fish jumping, we got birds of all kinds, dogs running around. There's something else jumping right there. Well, I wish I'd have brought my fishing pole or one of them. <clears throat> I didn't bring my my long surf rods, so I just didn't didn't want to fool with it on this trip. But I did bring a bunch of light tackle. I've been fishing around my uh, my dock on the river I don't know if those are rocks I think those are rocks out in the water there and not uh, not turtles hang on Bailey all right all right not bothered by the manatee huh all right that's good here's the dock the house we've rented it's the back of our house with a little pool. The house is much bigger inside than it looks from this, this viewpoint. A cool little outdoor tiki area, uh, bar area, whatever you want to call it. This house is really old and um, needs a lot of maintenance and, and fixing up. I think the people just bought it. They did a little remodeling, but they got a lot, a lot more to go. Um, but I've been out here, of course, scoping out the fishing and there's been mullet running through here the last few days and we've got dolphin out here right now so i figured i'd grab the camera i've been out here just flipping a um there's one right there right past that that depth marker that pole straight out 
they're cruising up and down through here uh, eating this mullet that's running up down this river they've been out here uh, in the evenings and in the mornings and now in the afternoons about 1 30 in the afternoon not sure what that is floating on the water out there maybe a life preserver um, let's see if that dolphin surfaces back there it is well no that's that's not it there it is it's just right over there This is this dolphin's home turf, I'm pretty sure. And <clears throat> these uh, channel markers, uh, I would assume, is there's another one right there. There's uh, these channel markers are the the deeper spots where these boats run to come to these docks. Uh, so I'm trying to cast out into there. I've had some big fish up under this dock in the last two days that we've been here. Um, I'm not sure what they are. They kind of look like tarpon, but I didn't get a good look at them. But they're a good three, four feet long. Um, had three or four of them schooled together earlier uh, yesterday morning and I flipped uh, uh, something jumping right there I flipped um, a bull shad in I got a bunch of bass tackle and um, I was like well I mean shit tackle's tackle I've seen somebody take a Barbie doll head off and put a hook on it and catch fish out in a saltwater situation so if they're hungry they'll hit anything but the bull shad, I mean, it looks pretty close to a mullet. So I threw it out there and uh, they scattered and then one chased it back to the surface. There's another dolphin right there. But the only thing I've caught so far is a whiting. I caught one whiting yesterday evening on uh, fish bites, which is like a little tape you cut. And they come in different flavors like uh, shrimp and clam and scallop and stuff like that. I don't know if they taste different or not. I haven't tried them. <laughs> they all seem to catch fish, so I'm not putting them in my mouth to see that if there's a difference. All right, well, I'm gonna try to do a little fishing out here and see if I can't catch something. <laughs> Alabama rig out um, I don't know for like 15 minutes or so maybe not even that long I've cast it out maybe six or seven times and the mullet are running with it and chasing it in and I, I hate to hook one of these dolphin I really do I don't want to I don't want to hook one but um, you know that there's other fish out here feeding oh man big splash big splash look at that feeding frenzy over there right over there in front of that dock I don't see that dolphin are going nuts over there a bunch of mullet just came through chasing my bait um, are running with it I don't think they're really trying to eat it I think they're just running with it and uh, the dolphin are just going nuts out here they've been out here <clears throat> tearing these these mullet shreds and um, you know that there's reds and other stuff out here eating this, this stuff too so I would love nothing more than to catch some, some reds or some trout or something. I don't know what else runs out here uh, big like that. Um, I don't know if you, if you find any snoop, uh, snapper or grouper like that inland. I don't know that much about um, saltwater fishing. So other than that, I've rented some boats, chartered some boats, and done a lot of stuff off the beach my whole life. But uh, you just catch what you catch. Bluefish, ladyfish, um, shark catfish stuff like that a little bit of fishing and not had any luck so i went and got some live bait i've been throwing bass stuff uh, rooster tails and swim baits and um, spoons and stuff the spoons usually work pretty good i've had a couple bites uh, on the rooster tail which has a spoon uh, i just couldn't land anything hooks were kind of yeah and um just caught a little baby stingray but i didn't get it on camera it wasn't very big at all about the size of a basketball so we're gonna try these finger mullet I'm frozen let them thaw out just for a minute see what we can't see the mullet have been running like crazy up through here the last couple days and the dolphin are all over the place so we've had a, quite a bit of fish up under this dock but they haven't been wanting to touch any any kind of lure I just spook them when I throw, throw into them. 
So we'll see. Uh, first cast with a piece of shrimp, I caught a stingray. I really don't, don't want to catch stingray. Well, our Florida fall beach vacation is coming to an end here. We didn't get the fishing content we wanted to get uh, for you guys today, but, or this week, we've been here seven days. The weather has been a little touch and go, had a little bit of rain, a lot of wind. Um, it's actually a pretty cool little house. It's really old that we rented. There's lots of little things wrong with it still. This is, we're the second people to rent this thing since they turned it into, I think since they bought it, turned it into a rental property. It's got a lot of things like this is the only light works on the dock except for the one up under the boathouse. But you know, little stupid stuff like that that can be fixed before you rent it out to somebody. I mean, put some bulbs in, you know, geez. So I, you know, this was my main focus out here this week because uh, I love to fish. And that's my leftover bait. I'm scared to open it because it's been uh, sitting out here for uh, 24 hours. Um, the fishing was not spectacular at all. It really wasn't. We had snook that were up under this dock um, that I could see a few days when the water was clearer. Can't see them today. Can't see the bottom today. <clears throat> There's been a lot of under churned sand and whatnot. Tides, river's been high almost the whole week. Uh, it's really high right now. Um, we caught, <coughs> we, I say we, it was just me fishing, no one else fished with me. Uh, we had a bunch of family down here, um, about 21 or two people, I think, in all, but we had three different places, two on the beach and then one here on the river. And, uh, we, luckily in Daytona, we're in South Daytona, you can drive on the beach. So we just got, a, I've got an annual pass, so I can just cruise out there it makes things so much easier when you're on a family vacation just to drive out there and set your stuff up and you're ready to leave you just throw it all back in the back of the suburban and go i caught about six or seven maybe eight sail cats uh two stingray and i had some snook chase me all the way to the surface right here but i couldn't get them to bite it i threw spoons i threw uh rooster tails just because i had them and they had a you know sh shiny spoon on them um i threw bull shad which is a bass lure you know a swim bait hard shell um nothing hit that straight spoons used uh, finger mullet you know frozen finger mullet used uh frozen shrimp uh caught everything on the frozen shrimp the snook chased the finger mullet but didn't, wouldn't, wouldn't take a bite. Um, lost a bunch of bait. I don't know if it was to crab or to other catfish, just rob, rob my bait. You'd get a bloop and uh, maybe a pop, pop, pop on the end of the rod and then nothing. You're like, ah, I got robbed. Reel it up, yep, got robbed. It's hard to keep that frozen shrimp on your hook, especially out here when the water's rough. But two nights ago, this, this whole river it was like a light switch. It just totally got slick as glass, the whole river. There wasn't an ounce of wind. There was nothing. And I thought for sure I'd catch them then, but I don't know what kind of weird mode that put them in, but it did not turn them on. It turned them off. Uh, because that night I caught one cat and I sat here for like three or four hours maybe. And um, from like, I don't know, 10.30 at night till about 2 or 2.30 in the morning, something like that. And it did not have any luck. Um, that was with the mullet and the shrimp. So, hey, I tried. I might not be the best fisherman or know the best techniques for these kind of conditions. But uh, this Georgia boy tried to fish in Florida for a little while and uh, just wasn't real successful. Uh, at some points, we had tons of bait fish coming up out of the water and dolphin running and pushing them. I mean, just seas of bait fish coming up, jumping out of the water. <clears throat> and I would try to throw, I was throwing an Alabama rig in the middle of all that. Um, and thought, thought I'd definitely get into some action on that, but didn't. Anyway, we had fun. 
va uh, these vacations always end too fast. They go by like a blink of an eye. Uh, so everybody gets all depressed in the last day or so. And we've got everything just about packed up and ready to hit the road. We're gonna drive the coast up uh, from South Daytona here, probably to the center console, go, well, two of them going across the river on the other side of the river. You can see that, it's pretty far away. Um, I haven't seen a lot of boat action. I've only seen maybe 10 boats come up down through here the whole time. Nothing on this side. Like I was saying, we're going to run the, the coast up to probably St. Augustine then before we cut over to the Jacksonville area and um, ease on back up to Georgia. I wish I'd have filmed some more down at Ponce Inlet with the dogs down there. It was uh, Ponce Inlet area is really cool, all the live oaks. Lots of houses stuck around. I better turn these lights off. I had that one LED light up there and it's in this panel. Turn that off. They told us not to operate the boat lifts because they don't work, I guess, or they're uh, not in great working condition. So we didn't have a boat with us anyway, so we didn't need the boat lifts, but there's lots of little things like that that don't work on this place. Like hardly any lighting out here been great if it had better outside lighting out here for fishing at night but um, it is what it is I'm sure they'll get this little house whipped into shape eventually and uh, it's been remodeled on the inside but it's not handicap accessible and my father-in-law is with us on this trip and he's on a he has a walker <clears throat> and uh, he can't fit the walker through the bathroom doors so it's made him going to the bathroom a, a challenge but we got it done. If you were in a wheelchair, you'd be in trouble if you came and rented this place because you would never get a wheelchair through the bathroom doors. I can barely get my shoulders through. Um, this house is really old, and I guess they didn't they didn't build a wide door bathrooms back in the 40s or 50s whenever this place was built. One last look. I don't know what they're doing here. Probably a high rise, but hopefully they build nice houses instead. Um, Need to dump this bait out. That was a mistake. Oh Lord have mercy, I should have never opened that bag. I'm glad I didn't get it on me. Uh oh. Those shrimp, those shrimp turn red from sitting out here in the sun and cooked in this bag. Oh man, it smells bad. Oh, good grief. <coughs> All right, that's it, guys. Catch us in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.